Today we're diving into something that a lot of people worry about, OLED burn-in. Specifically in this video, I'm gonna talk to you about my experience with the Samsung Odyssey OLED G8 after about 15 months of use. This is a 32 inch 4K 240 Hertz quantum dot OLED panel, and it's one of the most hyped gaming monitors over the last year or so. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna include some full screen color and grayscale tests that you can check out yourself if you have an OLED monitor and wanna see if you have any issues. Before I get to my personal results, let's do a quick refresher on what burn-in actually is so we know what we're talking about here. OLED stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. Instead of relying on backlight like traditional LCDs, OLED panels are made up of tiny little organic compounds that emit light when an electric current passes through them. Each pixel on the screen produces its own light, and when a pixel needs to be black, it simply turns off completely, emitting no light at all. That's why OLEDs are known for producing deep inky blacks and are said to have infinite contrast. But because each pixel works independently, they can wear unevenly. If you leave a static image on the screen for long periods, like a taskbar, a health bar in a game, or even a browser UI, those pixels can degrade faster than the rest. That's essentially what's referred to as burn-in. It's basically a ghost image or a permanent discoloration where a static image used to be. Over the years, manufacturers have implemented a bunch of new features to help reduce the risk, like pixel shifting, automatic dimming, screen savers, and pixel refresh cycles. But still, burn-in remains a concern for anyone looking to pick up an OLED monitor because they tend to be expensive and no one wants to spend a bunch of money on a screen that's just going to noticeably degrade over time. So how have I been using this monitor? Over the last 15 months, my daily usage on the G8 varies from as little as an hour all the way up to about 10 hours. Gaming makes up about 25% of my usage. I play mostly competitive shooters like CS2, Overwatch, Apex Legends, and then some story-driven single-player games like Cyberpunk 2077 and recently Borderlands 4. Around 65% of my usage is productivity. A lot of video editing in DaVinci Resolve where you've got static toolbars and timelines. I also work with Excel spreadsheets, Word documents, and Chrome with a ton of tabs open. Cause who doesn't use Chrome with a ton of tabs open? And finally, content consumption makes up around 10% of my usage, and that's mostly time spent watching YouTube videos. So this isn't just a gaming only monitor for me. It's been my main daily driver, meaning it's had plenty of static elements on screen for long stretches of time. Now let's get to what everyone wants to know. How does the panel actually look after more than a year of use? I ran a series of tests where I displayed a solid white background, red, green, and blue color fills, grayscale patterns, and full screen motion content and looked really closely for any visible signs of images retained on the screen while also paying attention to the overall image quality. Surprisingly, the display still looks fantastic. Blacks are still deep, colors are rich and punchy, and there's no noticeable decrease in the overall brightness of the screen. All good stuff. Now even looking extremely close up at the screen, I can't see any image retention anywhere, and this is not the result I was expecting. I definitely thought I'd be seeing at least the faint outline of my video editing software user interface because that's what gets the most use and overall, like it's just a bunch of static elements. It's the timeline and some toolbars. And that's basically perfect for causing OLED panel issues. Now this monitor does include anti-burn-in protection, including a built-in dynamic cooling system, thermal modulation, logo and taskbar detection and dimming, and a screensaver where the entire screen dims itself after about 10 minutes of inactivity. All good stuff helping to protect your investment from damage. But I also have some good habits that help reduce the risk of burn-in even further. When I need to step away from my PC, I actually just turn the screen off so there's no period of time where there's static elements displayed when I'm not there. I also keep all my icons on my secondary monitor that's not an OLED panel, so there's no risk of burn in there. I set the Windows taskbar to automatically hide when I'm not using it, and I use a dynamic wallpaper to keep the pixels moving when displaying the desktop. All these things are just good practice, and they're no doubt working together with those hardware and software features to help reduce the risk of burn-in as much as possible. So the big question, should you worry about burn-in if you're considering buying this monitor, or any OLED monitor for that matter? Honestly, in most cases, I don't really think so. Here's why. For gaming, burn-in's pretty unlikely to be a real-world issue unless you literally play the same game with the same HUD for hundreds or maybe even thousands of hours. For productivity, yeah, there's a real risk that static UI can cause image retention and burn in over time, but based on my experience, which to be clear isn't full-time daily use, it's just not an issue so far after 15 months with the way I use the monitor. So the bottom line, if you're interested in OLED for its amazing contrast, deep blacks, and near infinite response times, I think a lot of people could confidently pick one up and be just fine as long as you understand the risk and are willing to put in a little effort to manage it. That said, if you're planning to do something that'll have a static UI on screen all day long, every day, that's where I'd probably look to other panel types because the risk of burn-in would be too high in my opinion. 
All right, guys, that's going to be it for this one. Drop a comment down below and let me know your OLED experience and get subscribed for more content. And we'll see you soon.